Hello and welcome. In this video, we are going to learn how to integrate Slack with OIC integration. For this, we are considering a use case of sending a message from our integration to a Slack channel. Also, this approach we could use for other use cases as well, like sending a message to a particular user or a channel or a group. Also, we can create a file. We can send a file, we can get the file, we can create a channel, all those use cases. I will walk you through the documentation, the operations available out of the box in Slack adapter available in our Oracle integration. I have noted down few steps over here use, with the help of which we can achieve the use case that is sending a message from our OIC integration to Slack channel. First step is we need to have a developer account. If you don't have any, we need to create. If you are having a business account, then it's well and good. Next, we need to log into our Slack API portal. Then we need to create a app. Then we need to create a app in this API portal. Once we create a app, we need to provide our OIC instance URL that is for the callback auth URL. Then we need to add the scope for that app. I will show you what are the scopes available in Slack also which are supported in OIC integration. Then we need to install the app. Basically, it's like deploying an app after creating. Once we deploy the app, we need to note down client and the secret information from basic information available in this created app. Once we are done with creating app in Slack API portal, then we need to create OIC integration. The secret and client ID, which we noted down in earlier step, we need to provide in OIC connection, provide the consent, test and done. Then we need to create a integration and test and verify from Slack. I will provide this documentation links for Oracle Slack adapter, which is available in our Oracle integration, also the REST APIs of Slack in my blog. Please check out my blog for more details. I have logged into my workspace in my Slack developer account. Now I am in API Slack.com. I have already created OIC test with the help of which I have already built an OIC integration. For demonstration purpose, I will show you quickly how we can create an app. Once you are into api.slack.com, slash apps we need to click on this create new app i am selecting this from scratch you can use an app manifest as well provide the app name and select the workspace where we need to create this app click on create we are in basic information as i told from basic information if you scroll down we will get the secret and client id which we need to note down now we will go to our auth and permissions first of all we need to add our redirect url here we need to replace OIC instance URL with your host name, whatever it is, HTTPS slash something, ABC, colon 443. ABC is nothing but your host name, they followed by colon 443 and up to callback. That's it. Once we are done, click on add over here. As this is not a proper host, uh, it's saying doesn't seem to be proper link. Sorry. Once you add the proper link, it will give you option to add. Coming to the scope, we need to add the scopes over here. Click on add scope and select what we want to add the scope for that is for I am selling chat right that is nothing but send messages as OIC test to like this we can add the auth scopes this is for the bot token scope uh, also there is a option for user token scope this is our focus of interest we need to add the scopes in this okay here we need to add the scope details if you just start typing it will show you the scopes available if I want to add the scope for user it will list down the scopes available like user read email all those scopes add scope okay once we are uh, done adding all the scopes we need to click on this install to workspace okay once we install we need to allow and it will install the app once you are done go to basic information and note down client secret details whatever i have spoken is documented by oracle on this documentation page for a slack adapter with oracle integration here you can go to the capabilities, what are the restrictions and what are the operations supported currently within Slack adapter. You can refer to this document. If you go to this prerequisite for creating connection, here it's documented whatever, uh, whatever I have spoken. That is creating developer account, going to api.slack.com, create a new app. Then we need to go to auth permissions, provide the redirect URL. That is what I have shown, colon 443. This is nothing but your host name. Then we need to add that. Go to user token scopes, add the scopes. These are the scopes which you need to add and get this client and secret from the basic information that's it it's pretty much simple over here if you expand this add the slack adapter connection to an integration if you click on this invoke operations page you will get the list of scopes and description for that 
for this video we are considering the use case of sending a message from our OIC integration to Slack. So we need to have this chart writer scope added and chart writer user is the scope what we need to provide in our OIC connection. I will show you what how to do that. We will now go to OIC integration console and create the connection. I am here in the connections page available in OIC integration. I have already created the Slack connection. For demonstration purpose, I will show you how to do that. Click on this create. Search for Slack over here. Select this. Provide some name. Click on create. The client ID and secret what we noted down from basic information available in the app which we created earlier. That we need to provide over here client secret, client ID, client secret and the scope. Scope is nothing but those things. We need to provide like this scope, space and other scopes followed by a space. Once we are done with populating all the details, click on this provide consent over here. On clicking this as a, the details are not filled, it will redirect you to Slack. There it will authenticate based on your client and secret and it based on the redirect URL what we provided, it will authenticate this integration as a client to access that app. That's it. Once you see this 100%, click on test and save. I have already created the integration that is REST underscore test 01 which makes use of the Slack connection which we created just now. I will open this REST integration in edit mode and we will walk you through the integration. I have exposed this integration over REST endpoint. Here in the request I am accepting only the message but in your case you can accept the message, emoji, username and other details whatever this Slack API accepts. Now we need to consume this Slack adapter connection which we created earlier. I will open this in wizard mode. We need to provide the name in endpoint. Here we need to select the operation. Currently those are the operations which are supported by the Slack adapter at the time of recording this video. Again, if you are able to see the operation, it doesn't mean you are having the access to send a message. If Even though I am selecting send message over here. Earlier we had seen we need to provide the scope. We need to add the scope in auth scope in our app as well as we need to provide the scope while creating a connection. If we are having the auth access, then only we will be able to send the message. We need to select the send message over here as we already added chart write user scope while creating the connection. That's it. Let me show you the mapping. As I am sending the message to a Slack channel, this is the Slack channel name that is learning and the text I am getting from the request that is from the rest body. That's it with the mapping. I am closing this. Once we set the message to Slack channel, I am sending the status back that is success. Now we will test this integration. I am here in the Slack app. This is the channel that is learning channel where I will be sending a message from my OIC integration. I am here in the test window for this rest test 01 integration. This is the message what I will be passing that is hello. This is a test message from OIC integration. Click on this test button. And you are seeing the message over here. Hello, this is a test message from OIC integration. That is pretty much simple. Sending a message from integration to Slack. Now let me send a wave over here. That is nothing but emoji. That's it. I am sending the wave and then followed by a message. I am giving this is a test message 02. Click on this touch button and check over here. As you could see, we are getting this wave icon over here and followed by the message. Like this, we can make use of Slack adapter and send a message to our Slack channel. For more details on the mapping, uh, you can refer this documentation by Slack API on posting a message for a chat. In the request, we can send the AS user what the AS user means. We can send an emoji icon. We can even send a URL for an image which will uh, appear next to your uh, uh, username while, while sending a message provided it, we must set this as a bot and other details are also available. You can go through this link. I will provide this link in my blog. So this documentation will help you in completing the mapping in OIC integration. Likewise, you can make use of this Slack adapter to create a connection, send a file, download a file, get the conversations, all the stuffs, whatever is supported by our Slack adapter. Thank you for joining us in this video. Please do like this video and subscribe our channel.